million dollar gift that we gave to Carnegie Mellon University will establish the Machine Learning for Social Good Fund, which will provide opportunities for faculty and students to apply their expertise to initiatives that benefit the public sector. I think there's tremendous need for uh, machine learning and data science skills in um, non-for-profit organizations that could have direct impact, direct social impact, both domestically and internationally. We are empowering them to make more informed actions, more informed decisions, and expand their ability to solve problems. And so our students need practice in not just the theoretical aspects of machine learning and not just in the algorithmic development, but in actually how do you apply it in practice. I think a lot of data analysis can be used in the educational sector. Machine learning can be used to, uh, to take out trends of student behaviors and then we can build robots in order to optimize the learning method for that. I guess like climate change and like other types of these problems, like sometimes people talk about them in general terms and I feel like all that data can really be used for good, but no one's really utilizing that and taking advantage of all of it. One issue I care about is healthcare and particularly misdiagnosis. You would use machine learning because you uh, would have a lot of prescriptions and medical reports from doctors and you would also have uh, label data in terms of from good hospitals. You would know that a person with these symptoms has this disease for sure. The work that Roni and the students have been doing with the CDC around epidemics spectacular. We've started working with the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, for, for example, uh, the CDC. NGOs, there are a variety of uh, NGOs around Pittsburgh that we've started talking with. We're also looking at international NGOs, NGOs with international reach. I'm really interested in NASA. I think there's a lot of ways, like for one, um, categorization of planets and finding habitable planets for life uh, is a big one. You know, robotics, uh, astronomy, there's so many subjects at NASA that could do that. Our goal at Uptake is to work with the absolute best and brightest in the world. It is totally appropriate that Andrew Moore and Roni Rosenfeld and the team at CMU are our collaborators here because in my book, they are among the best and the brightest in the world. And what a more perfect city than Pittsburgh, where Mayor Peduto is committed to data-driven decision-making and to being a model for smart city innovations. The process of identifying stakeholders with meaningful and well-defined problems and with meaningful data is actually the most time-consuming and uncertain part of this process. The model that we've developed is that we as the faculty will spend the time ahead of time making the connections, creating a pipeline of problems so that when the students come in every September, as they do, looking for projects, we will have some ready-made projects for them with a problem when defined and the data already available. This relationship is spectacular and it will produce results that make our society, the world, a better place.